All right, guys, as we are going to unbox this, uh, let me go ahead and give you a little bit of information about the new Chromecast. So like its predecessor, the new Chromecast, it's all about taking content from your existing devices, making your dumb TV a whole lot smarter in the process. Uh, to make that setup smoother, the new Chromecast is sporting redesigned Wi-Fi hardware now supporting 5 gigahertz connection. Now that should deliver far better wireless performance so long as there's not too many walls between the router and the Chromecast itself. But that extra Wi-Fi performance will allow higher bitrate streams to be thrown at your TV without getting too bogged down into the uh, buffering. We're still talking at 1080p here, guys. So the devices you're gonna be casting from are unlikely to be capable of outputting any higher anyways. But running on the 5 GHz band should mean there's less lagging. Now the new Chromecast disc uh, design comes in the uh, traditional black as well as a lemonade color and coral color. Uh, but it's not just about looking different uh, for the sake of it. The new design has uh, been created to allow it to fit a wider range of TVs than the original slightly restricted device. Uh, by having that flexible HDMI cable forming the connection, rather than being an all-in solid unit, it's not going to have the feeding issues that some TVs uh, suffer with it. So we get in the box the same thing that in the first Chromecast, we don't need anything else, just the device and the, uh, the USB cable, and then on the other end, the connector yeah, that goes into the uh, electricity outlet. As you guys can see, it's actually pretty long. I will say the uh, cable itself, it's probably like five, maybe six feet long. Okay guys, uh, now that we talked about everything, all the specs and all that and unbox the device, uh, let's go ahead and start the connection here. Uh, as you guys can see, really easy. I mean, this is no brainer, super easy to do. Just uh, connect one cable or one end to the uh, electricity outlet. And then the other end of the cable, it's gonna be connected to the back of the actual Chromecast, as you guys can see right there. After you connected it, you're gonna press on the uh, only button that it said uh, right there on the side. Uh, just to turn on the unit, you're gonna see a light. I believe it's like a, a white light. And then that light turns uh, blue later. And then from this point, all you have to do is uh, connect the uh, HDMI end into the uh, HDMI port on the back of the TV. That's it, you are ready to go. Now time to uh, turn on the TV. So as you guys can see, uh, first thing when we turn on the TV and switch the uh, uh, to HDMI 2, which is where I connected the uh, Chromecast, we're gonna see right here this uh, blue screen. It says uh, set me up, and then just uh, go into your phone or whatever device that you're using, open the uh, Chromecast app, make sure you have the Chromecast uh, app downloaded, and then uh, also uh, have the uh, device connected to a Wi-Fi network. Now, let me tell you guys, uh, I'm doing all these through my hotspot. I have a different phone. I turn on the hotspot on that other phone. I connected this phone that you guys are using, right, uh, we're seeing right now, I'm sorry, on the video, to the hotspot on my other phone. Chromecast is also connected to my hotspot. So basically my hotspot is my Wi-Fi. It works perfect. I don't have to pay for Wi-Fi anymore since I have unlimited data, super fast from Verizon Wireless. Uh, for this point, after you do the setup, you're gonna see a code on the TV. 
uh, they ask you if you see the same code on the phone. Uh, at this point, you can even change the network of your Chromecast. Uh, you're gonna get like a generic name, uh, Chromecast 09 or 49 or whatever, couple of numbers. Uh, you can go ahead and change that and then you can uncheck if you don't want the option to share uh, statistics and all that with uh, Google. Uh, from this point, uh, that's it. You're gonna click on a setup and it's gonna start scanning uh, the Chromecast. They are basically going to start pairing, connecting with each other, uh, the uh, device on the back of your TV with your phone. So as you can see right now, it's uh, connecting. Now it's saying that it's uh, ready to cast. Now take a look at this. So this is really, really cool. This is part of the software that comes with the new Chromecast. They kind of give you like a quick intro uh, on how to do or, or use Chromecast, how to connect from the phone or cast shows or, or videos or pictures or whatever on your big screen TV. So that's really cool. You get that uh, tutorial right there. And of course, uh, you know, basically same functionality than the Chromecast before. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, guys, uh, basically the two differences here, it's the shape of the new device, which is easier to connect to newer TVs and the speed of the uh, transfer rate for the Wi-Fi. So you're not gonna be getting a buffering or anything like that. So as you can see now, we are ready to cast. Uh, so I'm gonna try to do the uh, screen cast first, which is uh, something I love, love, absolutely love. Um, you know, with the uh, screen cast from that point, uh, you can basically mirror your entire phone on the TV. As you guys can see, we're looking at the gallery right now. Uh, let's go ahead and play a 1080p video from my gallery. And as you can see, it's playing the video perfect. Full 1080p, it looks super clear on the TV. Your phone is uh, your remote control. Let's go ahead and open here a picture in 16 megapixel uh, resolution with the rear camera of the uh, S6 Edge. Looks absolutely amazing. And I can even open the uh, browser, Google Chrome. And uh, let's try to open uh, maybe CNN web page. But this is why I love the uh, cast screen because you can basically be looking at the browser, uh, be looking at Facebook, be looking at your gallery, even playing Android games on your big screen TV. Once you turn the phone in, into landscape mode, you can basically look at everything full size on the big screen TV. Right, let's go ahead and disconnect here the uh, cast uh, screen. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and test maybe uh, YouTube. But yeah, I can tell already the difference. Uh, everything is uh, transferring and opening way faster. Uh, that's a 1080p video uh, right there on YouTube. Uh, no lag at all. The picture looks super clear, super sharp. So absolutely recommend the new Chromecast. All right, guys, uh, there you have it. That's all I have for right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, click on like, share the video to help others. Again, this was an unboxing review and complete setup of the new Chromecast 2 from 2015. I can tell you that I already can see the difference in the streaming way faster. I do like the interface on the phone and on the television better. So I highly recommend it, $35. If you don't have it, you are missing out. Thank you guys and I will see you on the next one. Ciao.